Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. Today we are going to start off first with our um, Secret Lives of Color. So this is an interesting color. It's not one that I've ever heard the word before. It's Minium. And reading the story, she talks about how that word um, is part of other words we're more familiar with. It is a reddish kind of um, orange. So this is the, here's my block. So, ah, look, this is, I decided to go with a pink floral that I haven't used a lot of these sort of light with the, uh, a lot of pattern on them. I don't know, I'm, I'm having fun mixing those up, the backgrounds, keeping them mostly the pinks and the greens with the little bits of aqua and then the, the white ones that have uh, some black on them. So that's kind of how it's all going for mine. We are on the second full row in the second sort of chunk of three. Now I am doing my blocks uh, by size. So as I get to each color, I'm doing the nine block, the nine inch, the next color is a six inch, next color is three inch for the most part, unless the pattern I have, like if I have a big print, I wouldn't want to put it in the three inch. But if you are doing yours by color, then you, you know, like by the book, you might want to do one of these other sizes today for the color so that it's more in order. Uh, if that's how you're working yours, if that, if that matters to you, <laughs> some of you, it does, some of you, it does. So this is the book again, secret lives of color. So I know that the there's, this was all, this color was discussion was all about medieval times. And when they were using this particular shade of orange, for uh, decorating books, because books had so much decoration, you know, they all were done by hand by many people. Uh, and so they talked, she talked a bit about that process, which was super interesting. Uh, so I like it. Minium, a new word for me. Everything's dropping here. <laughs> all right, let's first do this. Let's do Oh My Stars, because that's what's on the calendar. So today I want to see your Oh, my stars, yours and yours and yours, because uh, I know that we are going to have an explosion of Oh, my stars. Uh, it is the free pattern size is the one that is here. And then you can do a very inexpensive add on that you can get bigger sizes that I've all laid it out for you. And I have done many of these over the years. I grabbed the pink one and I have the blue one. They're, they're real similar. These two as far as a uh, very light, um, you know, not, not a lot of different colors. These are, this is reds, pinks, and tans. This is uh, different shades of blue with tan and it's kind of, there's some cream. Yes. Yeah, some cream with blues on them. So that's super, super fun. Uh, these were, uh, there's a the backing on that one. So these were charm packs. Now I do have some other ones that I can't find. I, one in particular was a, is a fall one. I, I couldn't find it right now. So I'll send a picture. I'll put a picture of it in our Facebook group. The next one I want to make, I have two pulled aside to make. One is Ladybird, uh, and you can still get the Ladybird fabric. Uh, there's not as many of the companions, but there's tons of charm packs. It is so gorgeous. It has all different shades and colors and size prints. Ah, uh, I'm going to do the stars in an orange. And then I have, yeah, I have that for the border. So I'm really, I really want to get that one started. I might have to squeeze it in because I'm doing some other things that are for future for you to see. And, um, they're taking that extra time that I have, but I might just squeeze one of these up, you know, put the, put the charm packs up and sort of get them in order and then see where I want to put the stars then I could sort of mark it and take it down. We'll see. We'll see if I do that. Ah, it's a lot to put it up and take it down. As you know, for those of you who also have just one small design board like me, and it doesn't go very far. <laughs> okay. So where am I at on the lattice? The one was working on for uh, quilt day. I have all the rows done. Ta-da! And I have the top and bottom little inner border on it. So I still have to do the sides. So I have the side borders cut. So here they are. So I have them all cut and ready to go. Uh, so I will do that after I have to measure and then trim them so that they're to size. 
and then I will work on that one. While putting this together, I did a little bit of filming uh, of some of the sections so that you could see the process. I have a tip for putting the two rows together so that uh, they will match up nicely. So let's take a look. Here we go. I'm getting ready to sew the rest of the strips. I'm going to give you a close up on how I sew the two together. So I have those two uh, ready to go. Got the ladder out. Uh, Mr. Norm, Norm of Norm and Nanette, the pattern. I think Norm is going to get retired here for a little while. I think I'm going to put him in the bin because I just uh, working on too many things and he's in the way. So he's going to go take a nap. <laughs> so I'm, this is what I'm working on to get all these all these six rows done columns i have two of the strips down here and i want to show you how i line them up so what i ended up doing was looking at uh, the, how they're going to line up so basically there's a seam here so this blue block and the pink block there's a seam for the blue squares and then over here i want to find the middle the middle of that chunky plus so let me just scroll in really close so I can show you what I'm doing. All right, here we are. We have this section, this strip right here, and I want to line up every time there's a seam in the blue, I want to line up to the center of this chunky plus. So I need to find the center mark. What I do is I just fold it over and I make a crease with my, with my thumb. So I've got a crease right there. Then I lay this out. Then I can take this, this whole piece here and lift it up put right sides together and put that crease mark at the seam line underneath. Take a pin and then I will just continue to do that as, as I go along this edge. So I will be rolling down the edge and I can do it either way. Like, like I can now that I'm on the top, I can go ahead and fold it over. So, you know, the right side's facing me, make a crease, be sure that that crease is on the seam here, so here's the seam. All right, that looks good. Put a pin in it, and then it will pin between. So I'll go ahead and do another pin in here. And I will do the entire row so that I have everything pinned and lined up. Here they are, all pinned. So you can see all along the edge. So I am ready to take this one. This is the middle two rows. And I also have at the top, so I know what the top is. I put some binder clips, one at the top of each strip. That way I know the top edge. Like I could take one off now since they're pinned together. And then I have the other, the other two to do, and then I do all three together. After that, I will put a little navy uh, border around the whole thing to get it up to the size that I want. Uh, but I did get two other little projects done that I've been talking about. Let's do this one first. This is for Mr. Greg, and this is the little Millennium Mug Rug, because he found my Millennium Fabric, which was printed like in 19, it might have been printed in 1998, end of 98, definitely was out in 99, uh, for 1999. So I made him the little mug rug. I just put a blue dot on the back. So I will give this to him today after I take a pretty picture of it and put it in my gallery. <laughs> you got to put even the little things in the gallery. They count. Then I get the little pillow done. Now it's very full. This is kind of a <clears throat> small pillow and I, I needed, I think I need to make the cover just a teeny, should have been maybe a quarter inch bigger, but I, I stuffed it in there. Got it so it's nice and full. And I did a little hand Oops, that's a thread. I did a little hand big stitching on it. I've been doing that on these little crumb block ones. It's just kind of fun and relaxing. So I've got those two done. Yes. <laughs> I didn't do any bindings. None whatsoever. I think on Saturday on the calendar is to sort of uh, take an assessment of things. <laughs> Oi, 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 oi. So I don't have to think about it till Saturday. That's my, that's my plan. <laughs> that's my story. I'm sticking to it. All right. Quilt Alliance. I want to remind you, uh, here's a photo of, um, on March 30th, uh, next week, uh, you can come and join in on the, uh, re the reveal of my interview for Quilters uh, save their stories and I'm today getting some more pictures over to them to help you know, after the, I was interviewed 
then you know the editor went through and found what could we get a picture of this and this to you know add to the story so they're adding all those in so it should be it should be fun if you come and watch it when it's this uh, premiere you can ask questions and I will be there and my interviewer will be there uh, to answer so be sure you sign up it's free and it's online so you can just do it from your home works out or your office <laughs> which might be the same place still <laughs> All right, let's talk about the quilts for Ukraine. Uh, there are a couple updates. One is that we are at over $208,000 uh, of donations for UNICEF for the children of Ukraine. You are amazing. Mwah. This has just been so awesome to have this our whole community of quilters coming together to support Ukraine. Uh, now, a lot of you have done your single block and many of you are starting to do your full quilt to do donations. Um, I will use my own pattern for that with the stars. Okay, there's an update that Becky of her twin sister, um, Rachel is who runs the Quilted Twins store in Florida. She made an announcement that they are now accepting quilts. They have a way to ship them to Becky. So that is what they'll be doing. The Quilted Twins will be collecting quilts in Florida and then working to ship them to Becky and her husband, Mike, in Poland. And then once they get to Becky and Mike, they have contacts. They know people running refugee centers. Uh, they have a nonprofit as well. So they know people who are doing a group with, you know, work with the refugees. So that's where the quilts will go. So on my page uh, for Ukraine, uh, I have added the mailing address and updated that for the quilted t uh, twins, the quilted twins. So they have to be finished quilts. They can be any size. And there you go. So there's another, that's you know a, a, a different option. So there's two of them with the Wilded Twins. You can either send it directly to Becky yourself in Poland, uh, or you can send to Florida for it to be grouped up and to eventually ship. I don't know what method she's using. If it goes on a sh um, container ship there, it will take months. If they are flying them, it will take uh, weeks because it still has to go through customs. Anything from our country to another country goes through customs, and that's basically where stuff gets stuck. You know, <laughs> it will sometimes sit for a very long time, either getting off of a container ship and then through customs, or it'll get off the plane and then sit and wait with customs. So um, it'll be faster if you ship it directly, I think, to um, Becky yourself. But uh, there you go, those options, always, always options. <laughs> so today, what you're going to do is your Secret Lives of Color. Alrighty, my friends, I want to see your Oh My Stars quilts. Let's have a huge parade today over at Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. You can share all your photos. If you've done more than one, share those, share them all. I just can't wait to see it. It's going to be so, so fun. If you've never made one of these, uh, under the video today is <clears throat> the link to the pattern, or you can just go over to I Love to Make Quilts and go to my digital store and you can download it from there. Uh, it's also listed down below. It's listed a bunch of places. Just put in Google Pat Sloan, Oh My Stars, and the, the page will come up. <laughs> okay, my friend. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I love you. Mwah. See you online.